to you live from my bedroom not live taping to you from my bedroom because um, I have contractors working I got an awning to go over my double glass doors uh, you know because the heat it's been horrible or at least it was it's gone down now but I want to thank all of you guys for your well wishes for the fire it has been unbearable at times. I literally was, um, it smelled like someone was burning something inside my house. So I really didn't uh, feel right. I had sore throat. I had a headache every day and it was kind of a, a downer. I tried to stay present as much as I could. And then um, yesterday, I think we had a little bit of a breeze. They have this particular fire 22 percent under control all kinds of planes dropping water all kinds of firemen's and women's and so um the, so it's way better like today i can breathe and the fact i was worried about those guys coming to put that awning in which is going to take all day long to put that in it's huge i didn't realize how big they were doing it so anyway so um I'm just happy to be alive and I'm happy to feel better again. And I'm happy to talk to you guys because I have something to tell you. I'm not watching the Republican thing, okay? No way. But the good news is, is uh, Biden, uh, uh, the DNC convention outdoes the Trump convention big time. And I don't know if you saw the picture, but apparently when his wife was talking, uh, Melania, who, by the way, spoke from the Rose Garden, which no longer has roses, because she destroyed everything. Don't worry, we're going to put it all back into place. But apparently, um, it was he was sitting there, but he had his arms crossed and the look on his face. And I don't think he was mad at her. I just think he knows. He's just, it's the Trump show. It's like, ladies and gentlemen, here's the Trump show. And uh, it, it's like, you got to love Trump. And there's a lot of people that love him, but there are not enough people that love him. So that's what I got. Um, yeah, I can't even watch right now. I'm not, I'm watching movies. I can't even watch any kind of news thing because they repeat what just happened and I don't want to hear it anymore. You know, they'll put that, I can't stand to listen to Trump lie anymore. Okay, so he knows he's a goner, but I have something to tell you. The other day I had the weirdest dream. The other day before the, the, the smoke start, started to go. I had the weirdest dream. Sorry if this is bouncing a little bit because it's on my bed. It's a real fancy setup. I had the weirdest dream. I had a dream. And for you dream interpreters, please give me a, a text, stand up psychic, uh, not a text, an email, stand up psychic at comcast.net and tell me your interpretation. But I had a dream I won as president of the United States. And I'm standing in the White House and there's a woman standing there. She has dark hair, she's slender. She's doing the details of helping me get into the White House. And I remember her telling me that they had, um, somebody was getting my things. And I remember being disturbed because I don't like people touching my stuff. So they're basically coming in here, taking my stuff. So I was like, what? So I wasn't happy about that at first, but I was also confused. And then the first lady was there but it wasn't Melania, it was, it was somebody else. And I wasn't even thinking about Trump. It was just, it was like a whole different. Anyway, this woman was pissed off. I think it was the first lady. It could have even been somebody who's blonde that worked at the White House. Anyway, so she was having to pack her stuff and go. And they weren't helping her and she was all pissy, yelling and screaming. And I didn't pay no attention to her. 
So I'm in this White House thinking, how in the hell did I get voted? I don't even remember throwing in that. And do they know that, you know, I'm a psychic? Do they know my history? Married three times, you know? Do they know? And, and this woman's, I said, Jesus, you know, this is just amazing. I can't believe it. I'm thinking I got to call my family. Uh, you know, I'm going to need help with what I need to do for this world and bringing peace. And I remember all this stuff going through my head. And um, I laid on a wood floor. It was a wood floor. And I put my cheek up against the wood floor and I had my arms out. And I laid there and I closed my eyes and I thought, okay, so I've got the ancestors of the White House I can talk to. Because it's like I can feel the 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 past presidents, all of them. You know, I was laying there and I could sense that I was going to be able to pick them up even better because I'm living in the White House. And then she hands me a piece of paper that shows me, you know, what I can eat uh, for dinner. And uh, it's basically delish. And I was very excited about my dinner. And then I got so excited because I realized, no, oh, I'm in the White House. I don't have to cook. They're going to bring me breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That was probably the most exciting. And then, um, so I remember being very, very excited about that. And I remember just thinking, I cannot believe that I'm here. And what am I going to do for this nation now that we've won? And then I woke up. And I woke up in that shock space where you think, I can't believe that was just a dream. It was like so real energy-wise. I was so amped. That when I came out of it, it was like, oh my God, that was just a dream. I can't believe it. What a hell of a dream. So it was fantastic, you guys. But um, I was also disappointed because I wasn't going to get my dinner. So I woke up hungry. But anyway, um, I just wanted to tell you guys about that. And I, I remember thinking I need my family. I need all my family. I'm thinking, is there enough room in here for my family and my friends? And oh, how we, and, oh, she also told me there was a great amount because I'm like this place is dead nothing's happening where is everyone she said they're all waiting for us to give them the go-ahead all the press people all all your fans and and your you know it was like wow I gotta tell you it was fantastic it was weird I especially laying on that wood floor feeling pulsating universally that was so cool so what is the meaning of this dream I won I won as president do you think it means that my predictions won? It's more than me that's predicted this. But it's almost like, you know, I've been doing this for three and a half years, almost four years he's been in office, and I've been telling everybody he's going. I wonder if it was like, boom, like things were going to happen, you know. So it's wonderful. I, anyway, I just feel like it's going to happen, and maybe because... People will say Linda G, the Comancho psycho, was the one who said this was going to happen. That it catapults me or something. I don't know. I don't need any more catapulting. Um, okay, so I just had to tell you that. I just had to tell you that. It was so... I wanted to tell you yesterday. I just haven't been able to get on board um, because of the, the smoke. But today I feel really good. Except I have these contractors here all day. If you start hearing and all that's the contractors. So that's why I had to set up in my bedroom. All right. So let's just take a look. See of how Trump is doing. Is he remember every time I read on him, he's like delusional. He's like, oh, yeah, I've got this. I've got this. So how are you feeling now, sir? He might have even had some dreams. How are you feeling now, sir? And don't forget, we're going to get the list of all the states, everybody that's running. Send me your stand-up psychic at comcast.net. Send me your state and the people that are running, and I'm going to sit down and go through. I could probably even look it up on Google. I'll just start with Alaska, all 50 states. How are you feeling? Let's take a look, see. He's worried about money. He's definitely worried. 
and he's at the crossroads. He's starting to get the hint. Thank you, because before, remember, he was delusional. He's starting to get the hint. Oh, there's more news coming out, you guys. Oh, oh. Ding dong. Pack, pack your bags. Ding dong. What do you guys think of that girlfriend of... Uh, she used to be married to our governor out here. The girlfriend of Don Jr. Holy cow. That was angry, huh? They, I, I can't help but think some of the... You know, we can't say they do drugs and stuff. We have no proof. And we don't have the blood test. But I can't help but think by the, the way their affect was that maybe they are... They were There are some drugs on board. When I worked in, as a nurse in the emergency room, especially in the triage area, somebody came in, I could see it i could smell it i knew exactly what drug but i had a family member that had an issue and i never could tell it's so funny that when you have people you care about you can't tell as much as you can when you're separate from it but that angry it was kind of a turnoff um i felt bad about it but you know i didn't hear her speech i don't know all i heard was the yelling so anyway um you know, we can prod and poke and make fun of these people till the cows come home. It doesn't It doesn't make a difference. We're talking amongst ourselves because it makes us feel better. But I can tell you, beyond a reasonable doubt, this thing didn't help him. And didn't I tell you guys that that uh, he wasn't going to get, uh, that this, this convention wasn't going to do as well as the DNC? Didn't I tell you guys that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, not me, my guys. I'm trying to take credit. They always remind me, too, when I start saying, and didn't I? And they're going, you? Huh. You? <laughs> Oops. Forgive me. Okay. Let's look at that hurricane coming in. Then we'll take a look-see at Eric Trump, too. Let's look at that hurricane coming in. Let's look at that hurricane coming in. They think it might be a category four. Tell me guys, what can I tell everybody? It's gonna be a lot of flooding. Whew, it's gonna be big time flooding. The angels are gonna to try to help, but it's gonna be very, very hard for people. It's like, it's like the fires, you know, that energy of, oh God, I lost my home. I lost everything. Um, it's going to cost a lot of money. There will be an outpouring of love and attention from this nation. I don't think Trump will be stingy with them because he's got to help Texas. They will recover, but this is part of that energy I got back when I read for the pro prophecies for 2020. Remember, I was seeing big time flooding and Florida's, Florida's getting hit. I'm telling you, I, I just know it. I can sense it. I can smell it. I, I just feel it. Florida's going to get hit pretty bad, but this is really going to cause a lot of damage. I don't know about deaths. They don't say deaths, but... I think people are listening. I think they know that it's going to be bad. Okay, so the Florida. Now, Eric Trump. Uh -huh. So our Letitia, our girl about town, tell us what you can tell us about Eric Trump. I see attorneys talking to Eric. If you hear pounding and stuff, it's from them working So what's going to happen, Eric? What's going to happen to you? Ooh. Don't tell me he's going to go in there and lie again. Oh, dude, not good. He's going to try to come up with another whack job story. He is worried. It's not good. He doesn't want to go against his dad. But he wants to jump ship and save himself. He's looking at jail, you guys. He's looking at jail. He's going to try to lie again. Oh, 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 the evil that's around. 
he's going to pay a price. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. Don Jr. is going too. Oh, look at his dad. The five of swords, him, and the, the what should be good news is bad news. This might happen while Trump's still in office. So what do you do when your son's going to jail or being arrested or something? Something's going to happen with Eric Trump. And he's stupid enough to lie again. That gets me. Okay. Now, we're going to talk about Eric Trump. I wanted to talk about the hurricanes. I didn't bring my notebook. Sorry, you guys. Hold on one second. So, do I have another question? I want to ask about Melania, who ripped up our rose garden. She spoke yesterday from the rose garden. And there is no rose garden there. So tell me about Melania. How is she doing and will we get our rose garden back? I feel very strong that we will. I feel like almost immediately, as soon as we take over, they're going to, um, they're going to get in there and replace everything. She made it into a parking lot. But tell me about Melania, because I really feel they're gonna go back and say, you, you were no Einstein. You got this, this visa incorrectly. Okay. All right, you guys, I got to tell you what I just heard. So I feel like Biden, because she's a previous first lady, that they may start on that track, but I feel Biden puts the kibosh to it and says, no, don't just leave it be. It's not going to be easy to live here in the United States because there'll be people that just absolutely hate her and her family. But I just saw it. I just saw it as clear as day. I saw Biden say, you know what? This family is already going to go through a lot. Let me just double check. She's not going to serve jail time or anything, you guys. Yeah, she packs her stuff and bows out. She also has a son of a alleged for about he's going to get they're going to take away everything he he was. Yeah, there's no happiness here. There's no happiness here. They might start this, but I feel somebody says, "You know what? Because because it was of Trump. Trump's the one who should be in trouble, not her." That's what I got, okay? Yeah, there somebody said five five languages, right? So she, she, uh, anytime she goes to a foreign country, she has to bring an interpreter. So Michael Cohen's book's coming out this next week. And he's going to be on metal. So Michael, we've been anxiously awaiting, is it a little bit of a ba-boom? Tell us what's going to happen with this new book coming out. Mm-hmm. Tell us what's going to happen with your new book coming out. He's making money now. Whoa. He's actually feeling pretty good because he's making fat. His fortune is changing. He'll still have the people say he was a liar. Trump. Guess who's the one saying it? Trump. Uh, he's going to bring out, it's going to answer some more mysteries. It's going to answer some more mysteries. So, yeah. He, he's putting the light to the dark. He's going to get hit by negative people because of the Trumpsters, but there's not enough of them to destroy him. Most of us will be going, yeah, dude, at least you, you're telling the truth. Like that other guy, Bolton, you know, he wouldn't help out and he wanted to make money. Okay, so. This is weird. Why don't I ask about that dream? I never asked. Can my guides via the cards... Tell me the meaning of this dream that I had where I won as president of the United States. And don't start calling me Madam Comanche Psychic. Boy, boy, I see furniture being moved out. I see things that are missing. I 
I even see a list of things that are missing, like it's been stolen. I don't know if Trump stole it. Um, what does it mean? It means there's going to be a new president. Things will change as predicted. And this is my card putting the, the, the truth out there. And here's Biden accepting the presidency. So there you go. Say no more. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. And then um, I want to know. I don't know if you know, but the, in the protesting, a couple of people got shot in, is it Wisconsin? I think it's Wisconsin. I want to know. I'm almost feeling, and I'm so, sorry to tell you guys, basically nothing really gets done until we, until we destroy who's sitting in there now in office. So, so I'm feeling like these things are happening and people are going crazy and even the police are going like this. Whatever. So, because Biden doesn't want to defund the police. He never said that. He said, we could, you know, we don't, ha we don't need police modern monitoring themselves like the, what's that old saying? What, having the wolf oversee the, the hen house. It's, it's ridiculous. They, anytime they had something come up, they always said, we're innocent. And, but there's good cops out there too. So he doesn't want to destroy it. He wants everybody to work together. But there are a lot of police force people are going to vote for Trump. But don't worry about it. It's not enough. Tell me what I can tell everybody about these riots. Yeah, we're going to get it together. We're going to get it together. Yeah, see, there's more drama taking place, you guys. It's almost like, what is going on? They're letting these people come in and do these kind of things, and that empowers them because they won't do anything about it. Ooh, did you guys see that? That was weird. Okay, so that, my guys are saying, we did that because it's for real. <laughs> Don't worry. This too shall pass. Okay? Don't worry. Uh, it's just, I would recommend not doing any kind of marching. I know we have the free right, but not under the Trump realm. We do not have the right. Not under the Trump realm. realm. Just for now, you know, with this COVID, I say just stand down. Stand down because our time will come. Although that march for the Black Lives Matters was fantastic. But you got to stand down because this too shall pass. Okay, now... Is there anything you guys want me to tell the beautiful folks? Is there anything else you want me to tell the beautiful folks? They're saying yes. They're saying that we're blind to the future. But, oh my God, the outcome is the sun. Oh, look at this. We, we're, we're stuck right now and part of our, ourselves is panicking. Because we're looking and we're saying, when is this going to end? But the outcome is the sun, you guys, with the nine of cups. I just got to tell you, you, you don't have to worry about this. Honest to God, this is going to work out just fine. And we need this. So what do we got? We got, this is, we're almost in September. Before you know it, it'll be November. Oh, I know what I wanted to read. Everybody's saying he's going to cheat. He's going to lie. He's going to create chaos. And yes, he will. And I almost feel like the media wants us to worry or they're bringing up this stuff. I see them trying to cheat, but I see Intel coming in and blocking them. They blocked them the last time. Believe it or not, they were able to block uh, Russia. Yeah, he's going to try to, he's going to lose, you guys. He's going to lose badly. I also saw the Supreme Court. So I don't know if he creates such chaos, like everybody knows Biden wins. But he creates all this chaos and then has to be heard by the Supreme Court. Supreme Court says, dude, get lost. Supreme Court's not going to help him out. 
although I do see Kavanaugh. It's going to be Roberts that keeps it going. But Kavanaugh will be worried because he knows that when Biden comes in, his job is gone too. Namaste. Talk to you guys later. Don't forget Sunday is Sterling Day. And sorry, this is kind of rinky dink, but I want to thank you guys for all your text messages. Thank you so much. I'm I'm happening. It's going good. I finally feel alive again. Ciao.